What up guys, welcome back to another mobile photography with me. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your photo from this to this. Check it out. What up guys, this is me, Patrick LeVar, helping you take your cell phone photography to the next level. And on this channel, we shoot and edit photos all on our cell phones. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Let's get into the video. So today what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using Lightroom and Shapegoal. Uh, Shapegoal actually did an update and Lightroom have done an update since the last time I've used these two. So I'm very excited to get into these. But one thing that's going to be very cool with this lesson is like some people are like, oh, you know, maybe I don't have any cool photos or anything to, to type of, to try to use to make these lessons. Well, let's get into Shapegoal. I want to show you something that's pretty cool here. If we click in the Shapegoal and all these are free apps guys you can download these apps and, uh, and definitely check them out and down here at the bottom it says shape Gold, uh, plus unsplash very cool here you know you can click inspire me and like you can download these photos these are like free source photos that people have just kind of like uploaded i don't know how where they're coming from but you can use these photos so this is good stuff to practice on so for example here what i'm going to do is just type in let's see city i'm going to type in city and let's Okay, and the record button, the pause button is right on the inner button, so that sucked, okay? But let's hit check, let's search city, and then boom, it just pops up with some cities. It's got the, the, the photographer's name, which is very cool, and we can use all this stuff. Man, I thought this was awesome. So, of course, me being in Japan, I'm going to choose this one right here. Fantastic. And uh, let's see here, this is, holy function, what is this here? This is another new app that I think they have, which interesting interesting very cool i might have to look into this app too guys i just you know commercials for free apps but hey okay i finally found out how to clear that off but that is another new app so i'll check that out later but now so we're in here we got our photo going right and um i like this this is very cool uh already i'm looking at it and i'm thinking about using a shape here and let's see here. This is one of my favorite apps. If you guys don't know, if you guys check out my Instagram, one friend with me, you see me using this a lot. It is very cool and one of my favorite apps to use. So I'm going to choose something pretty wicked right now. I'm going to go ahead and choose this here. This looks pretty awesome. And I'm going to bump up the width a little bit. Don't want. I want to keep the details in there. And I think I'm going to throw this up in the sky here, like back here in the distance. Let's see if we can kind of make it a little smaller. Or should we actually go a little bigger? And we'll do something like, something like that. Okay. Oh, maybe this here. First thing, let's change the color because it's, it's totally blending in with the background, which we don't want. And I'm gonna choose, this gray looks pretty cool, but let's see if we can kind of create our own color. Let's get in here. Saturation. I'm kind of liking that blue. That's looking nice. A little bit too bright there. Let's get more of a pastel. I'm going to go. You guys can use whatever colors you guys want. I'm going to go with this pastel here. I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger. And I think I'm going to throw this back here. In the, back here. And I'm probably going to hide it behind these buildings. So what I'm also going to do is hit set. And then I can come up here and hit 3D. Okay, and then, oh man, a 3D is being covered by this logo. Hang on, let me pause the. Okay, I had the the one minute, the one frame logo. This app I'm also using AZ Recorder is pretty cool because I can you can put your own little logo in there. Fantastic, free app. I haven't paid for the premium version. I don't really care for it too much. I mean, care to use the added benefits. But anyways, so what I'm gonna do is I go back in here, and then. Let's see here. I got that set like I want it. I'm going to hit set, hit 3D up here at the top. And now I'm going to just kind of like give it a little bit of some depth here. Let's 
get a little perspective going. Kind of tilt it like that. That looks fantastic. I'm going to click on the eraser tool. They updated here. Now we got like this feather eraser, which is nice in the square and the circle. Very convenient. Let's zoom in. Now with the eraser tool, I'm just going to kind of let's make this bigger size. But that big, that's good. And I'm going to just erase everything here. And I'm just going to hide this, this guy back behind the building here. Just kind of do a quick erase. Now I zoom in. And of course, take your time on this. The more you take your time and give it the, the details, the better your photo is going to look at the end. So, and I'm actually going to make my brush a little smaller. And I'm going to zoom in really close and get really close here. Get a nice, get clean edge here. Okay. Continue like this. Alrighty, now I'm going to go back in here and draw that little bit of part that I just knocked out. Okay, let's zoom out. Look, see how that looks. It looks good. I can dig it. Now let's go back up into here and whoopsie, erase. Let's pump up the size a little bit. Got to get that going like that. And again, details, guys, details. Let's kind of get it nice and clean here to really kind of sell this effect now what I'm gonna do is zoom back in here go to the draw tool kind of knock down my size and kind of just draw back in what I've erased right there okay it's looking good it looks like we could fix this here okay that looks good and pump up my size Knock this out. Got to get this real close. Get that real close there. And that. Okay. Zoom out. Let's look what that looks like. That's looking good. That's looking good. It's looked like it's hitting there, hiding behind the, uh, behind the building here. Now let's see. What I'm going to do on this one is we're going to hide this behind the sign. Okay, back to my eraser tool. And again, let's just kind of kill that all. Erase that all. Alrighty. Trying to uh, get back to doing more lessons and a little less vlogs. Sorry, guys. I've just been... It's just with the baby. It's kind of tough to get out of the house to do the lessons versus the vlogs are just so easy to, to for me to put together but you know that's not the reason why you guys are here you're here to do cool stuff using your cell phone photography and videography so i gotta get back to why i brought you guys here so let's oops let's go back to your race here and also kind of come through here if you guys have a no also down in the description i will put a link to the new group that I've started on Google Plus. It's just a group where we can post photos that we've done. Uh, matter of fact, once you've guys done your photos from this lesson, I will love to see what you guys have created. And in this community, it's just a lot easier for us to share the work that we've all created. So be sure to check out the link in the description below and um, join the group, post your photos. Let me see what you guys are doing. And, uh, well, yeah, we can just kind of enjoy the love of creating on our cell phones, man. This is good stuff, you know. The cameras are getting stronger. The cameras are fantastic. Um, you know, I was saving up to buy a DSLR camera for a long time, and now I don't even really know if I'm going to buy this. I'll buy one. I mean, who knows? All right, that looks good. I don't want this to take, like, a 20-minute lesson here. But, you know what? I like that how we got it behind there and a little bit. You know what? I'm not liking this. Let's kill this here, too. Let's just go ahead and hide that behind that, too. Okay. Boom. Bada bing. Bada boom. All right. Sweet. We got that sitting back there in the distance. Very, you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. And I don't like how it's past this building. Let me erase this here. I don't want any of this to be shown here. Let's go ahead and get that all off that building there. And then... Here in the distance. Looks like we got a little bit there. Okay, and let me get in here. Draw that back. Actually, let's use the circle one here now. Since we got a little bit of curve action. 
Fantastic. I'm glad they updated these tools. These are fantastic. Okay. Sweet. Super sweet. Hidden there behind there. All right. Fantastic. That's it for uh, Shape Glow. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Hit save. Gallery. Now I'm going to pop into Lightroom, guys. I'm so stoked about Lightroom. They made some really good advancements in this program. I was using it last time and it, it was quite cumbersome. It had like so many settings it was just kind of hard to get around they've simplified it so i'm so happy that they did that and uh, let's see where we can find our image here down in shape goal and there it is i've done one already before kind of to see how i wanted to do this one for you guys i come slightly prepared sometimes you know it just helps plus i don't want this to be like a 30 minute lesson Okay, let's see, did it load up? We're still loading, okay, it's loaded. Let's go in here to all photos. And we just, I did this, that one there. Now, here's a um, kind of a crash course. Down here in the bottom, you got selective, you got the crop tour, you got presets. Um, I'm not using any presets, I don't want any light. So right off the back here, I'm gonna turn my histogram on and the three dots at the top, show histogram. You can see there's a lot of highlights uh, on the right side, it's very hot. It's a lot of, you know, it's very bright. And on the right side, I mean, the left side, it's the darks, the shadows. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go to curve. And I'm going to put a dot here. And I'm going to put a dot here. And just kind of like, let's just kind of make an adjustment here on this. First of all, I'm going to bring these blacks down the shadows. Um, kind of bring that up a little bit. And here we got... Let's see what we're looking like on that. Actually, I'm going to leave that up a little bit. And I'm going to give it a little bit more on the back end here on this last one. That's going to be, give it a little bit of fade. Nice. I like it. Okay. Now, hit done. Then what I'm going to come in here and do in my contrast, I'm going to probably knock the contrast down just a little bit. Let's see, it's too much there. Just a little bit, ever so slightly. Okay, contrast, I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit. I don't want it too contrasty, minus two. Highlights, I'm gonna probably push this down a little bit. Now you can see up there in the top on the, on the histogram on the right side, they're going down. So I'm gonna bring that, because here in the back area, back here, it's kind of hot, like blown out. But hey, I didn't take the photo, so. I couldn't adjust it you know it's better to have that low uh, that low uh, exposure so you don't get the whites blown out shadows let's just let's see here up and I'm bring them I'm gonna crush them a little bit I'm gonna crush them a little bit about there uh, the whites let's see how white it uh, that white is strong in the back so I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit careful with this if you bring down too much it kind of just doesn't look good blacks and I'm gonna crush the black a little bit more just ever so slight. You still want to see details in the shadow. So there, I'm going to leave it at a three. Okay, now I'm going to click on this uh, thermometer here. You can see it's basically representing color. I'm going to click here on Mix. This is my favorite tool. This is why I like using the Lightroom tool. Now, what I'm going to kind of do here, I'm going to kind of go for like a, uh, let's see here. I'm going to just kind of do something different here. I want to get like a, I don't know. Um, let's take the reds. I'm going to pump the reds up. Okay, I'm gonna pump the reds up to like 60-ish. And then I'm gonna click the orange. Let's see what's up with the orange. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and leave the orange in the center. Uh, my yellow, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that all the way over. On the hue, on the green, I'm gonna pull that all the way over out too. Take that all the way out. Kind of get this uh, teal and blue, orange and teal look which a lot of people like Sam Caldrif, they, they like that look, so people are kind of into that. Me, eh, it's, it's cool, but it's nothing that I, I thrive on. So let's see here, with the teal, I'm gonna kind of move this over here towards the blue, get like 33%, let's grab my blue. My blue, I'm probably gonna leave it dead center, but you know what I'm gonna do with the blue? I'm gonna take the saturation, and I'm gonna kind of just pale it out, pale it out a little bit, and also let's go back up here to the teal. Same thing here, kind of pale it out. Now you can see what's happening here with the orange because there's so much orange in the photo. Fantastic. This is looking good. Let me bring back just a little bit of that blue. 
cool. Ah, uh, the purple. I think I'm going to leave the purple where they're at. I'm going to leave those two where they're at. Fantastic. I'm already liking this. Let's look at the before. If you click on it and hold, before, after, before, after. Just a subtle little different, you know? I like it. You know what? Maybe let me go back at that orange. And I'm going to just pull the saturation down on the orange just a little bit. There, my minus 13. Okay. Good. Now let's go in here to my temperature. Now if you slide this, you can get more of that orangey look. Or if you slide towards the blue, you get a cooler look. What I'm going to do is just kind of go a little bit towards the cool side. About five. Remember, less is better, guys. Don't crank all that stuff up. Vibrance. Let's see what that's looking like here to there. Hmm, interesting. Uh, vibrance, I'm probably going to leave it at minus two. Saturation. The color is already... Let's see what it looks like. Saturation. Desaturate. I'm actually liking the desaturation a little bit better. I'm going to leave it at minus four. Alrighty, cool. And if I click this little circle thing here that looks like a uh, box in a circle, you got your clarity which it's a pretty crispy photo right now, so I'm not gonna really mess with that. The vignette, I love vignette. I'm gonna add a, just a, a little bit of vignette. <laughs> yeah, let's back that out. I'm gonna add a little bit of vignette, like five. Okay, and split tone, very cool here. What this does is it controls the highlights and the shadows, and you can control the tint of the highlights or the shadows. So I'm gonna give this back. I'm gonna give a little bit of this purple pink here towards the highlights. Let's see here, like right about there. And then on the shadows, I'm going to give it the teal look. This is the classic, you know, movie cinema, orange and teal look, basically, which everybody loves. And I'm going to go ahead, and this is the slider between them, so you can lean towards one side more. And I'm going to lean towards the highlight side, just to get that some color in that highlight, kill that, how white and blown out it is, just like that. Let's take a look at our, okay, let me kill the histogram here. Go ahead and switch. Before, after, before, after. Can you dig it? I can dig it. This is cool, guys. Boom. Alrighty. And I think that's about it. Midtone, that's controlling the, the vignette, which I don't want to mess with. Okay. And over here is my crop. I think the image looks pretty cool. Let's see if there's any type of, rotation I could just kind of boom right there I think that looks good actually it looks fine oh no now that I did that let's go back yes let's go ahead and um I'm gonna straighten that out a little bit didn't really notice that till after okay let's see like right there alrighty save that I'm liking that boom there's it again after before after fantastic okay let's go ahead and save that click the three dots here up at the top save to gallery bada bing i want it at the highest quality render 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 all right guys that was it just a quick little video to get back into the photo game it's been a while so i'm going to be using the lightroom for a couple more time to tutorials on this uh it's a free app i'll put the link down in the description check it out same with shape Co. it's a free app uh definitely check it out very cool and um, that's going to wrap it up, guys. This is Patrick LeVar. Keep filming and keep taking photos. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.